Hi, this is Thunder Yee from BorderWorld.com and today we'll be unboxing the PSP Vita. Vita is the latest Sony PlayStation Portable. Uh, this has a uh, quad core processor, whole, uh, just a whole bunch of uh, functionality and it's pretty cool. Packaging right here, it's uh, very slim, thin, actually also super light, so which indicates the device is probably very light also. So let's uh, open it up and see what's inside. All right, so here's our PS uh, Vita. You can see this is the Wi-Fi version. It also indicates that PS memory cards are sold separately, just to let you know, so for storage and all that fun stuff. So anyway, open up all the tape and rub it around. Let's open this bad boy up. So we have our Long Live Play PS Feeder, um, looks like protection plan, shows you this is a protection plan here, this here is just an accessory guide, and this is your AR playing card, so just like the Nintendo 3DS you have some augmented reality uh, stuff which we'll check out. Of course here's our box. Open this up here. We have our quick start guide, which I believe comes in several languages. Don't need that. Open that up. Here, of course, is our power cables. Charging brick. It's actually not really brick, it's pretty light. We do have proprietary uh, port connector and uh, USB, so for charging and most likely some data transfer. And of course, your PS Vita. What else do we have in the box quickly? Uh, yeah, we have our safety guide and there's nothing else in here. So, put this in, keep this aside. Throw all the stuff in here. Let's take a look at our PS Vita. So here is Sony's uh, latest uh, PlayStation Portable. First thing to note, it, it spots a 5-inch display. Uh, this is 16 by 9, uh, resolution 960 by 440. Um, also, this is a touchscreen, completely fully touchscreen. At the rear of the device, you do have a touchpad here. So this is also touch sensitive and their controls. You can see this is not fingerprint happy. Uh, so it's gonna be smudgy all over the place. Has a rear camera. Um, and then you also have uh, on the very top of the device, look in here, you have your L, your R, you do have your volume buttons, your power button. Let's see if I can open that. I believe that's for your games and your memory card, but we'll open it in a second. Um, of course, you do have your traditional uh, D-pad and dual analog sticks here. So you do have analog, short analog sticks, if you will. Your PlayStation home button, see speakers. You do have a front-facing camera right here next to the, uh, the, the square, triangle, circle, and X buttons. Of course, your other analog stick and you have select and start. Your headphone jack is here below, so it's headphone and mic. Of course it's a port for the proprietary port. Um, you also do have another port here. You can open this. I believe that's for your memory. Um, and uh, let's open up the one on the top and see what we have in here. Alright, so the top port here is actually for your PSP Vita uh, game card, so you can actually put them right in there. It's not the easiest thing to open, especially for someone who has bad fingernails like me, but it uh, closes up pretty nicely. This is a proprietary port of sorts, which I am actually going to use a little screwdriver tool here to open up. Um, again, it's another proprietary port. doesn't match this here, which of course is for charging. And uh, of course, at the bottom here, you do have your memory card here. So um, those are different ports. So let's power this on and um, see what happens. Let me bring this closer.
So we have it on. It's giving us instructions. Swipe down. Touch screen feels good. Uh, doesn't feel ultra sensitive or anything like that. Yes, we know our time zone. Dates. Is it twenty? Oh, sorry. Month is the second. Time. Just turn around the volume. No, I don't have a position at the account. So we go through the setup process. Next. So we have our PlayStation Vita powered on, everything set up, uh, connected to Wi Fi. First thing you know, this is the home screen. In the home screen, you have uh, your applications on the home screen. So we have your Welcome Park, Party, PS Store, Trophies. Group messaging, friends, photos, in the air, browser. Now you can see there's an arrow pointing to the right, so you can actually move right. That shows you your current applications, what applications you're running. So I had the browser on for a second, and if I open up something else, I open up party, I can go to that. Or to go back home, I just hit home, and there. So I have party, and I have browser up. Now, uh, you can load as many apps as possible you want on the home screen. So you scroll down and you keep scrolling down to add more applications. So there's music, video, remote play, your settings, map, and content manager. Um, if you go into settings here, I just did an update on the system. So this is actually running version 1. Uh, be 1.6. Um, you can check your flight mode data, uh, application data management, if, you, if it was a 3G version, uh, and so on and so forth. So... You can see it's very easy to navigate around the uh, Vita. Uh, so far, I I like what I see. The touchscreen is very responsive. Um, the camera here, we can actually open up the camera app. Um, feels very responsive. Uh, we haven't gone to gameplay yet, but uh, oh, I need to get a uh, PS memory card. But you can see again, I have these applications running, which I can jump back into. Uh, I haven't figured out how to exactly kill them, but um, that's pretty much it. So we'll spend some time with the Vita. We'll check out the applications, we'll check out gameplay, we'll check out the browser. Uh, we'll do some gameplay reviews for you. We get Uncharted and then a couple other games in here. So, um, so far I like it. Um, you know, as a gaming device, it, it's multifunctional. It's not heavy. Uh, feels comfortable. Although I, you know, this is kind of annoying that it doesn't just pop open, but. Anyway, so this is uh, Thunder E. If you have any questions or any comments about the PS Vita, let us know. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to all our pages on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. It's all border work with uh, two O's. So this is Thunder E saying thank you. And uh, always enjoy entertainment.